So just to summarise this last one, I've derived it, it's obviously a quadratic, I've let it equal zero, use null factor law. My two stationary points are the two times that equals zero, is when x equals six and x equals negative two. We would expect that because with an order two polynomial, what's an order two polynomial? What's another name for that? Quadratic, we have how many stationary points? What's the most number of stationary points you can have with a quadratic? One. With a cubic, if we think of a cubic in our mind, it should look something like this. Correct? How many stationary points can we see there? Can we ever have any more than two stationary points on a cubic? We can have less, but we can't have more. Correct? So the number of stationary points is one less than the polynomial order. So here we've got two stationary points as expected. The graph will look something like this. The flat lines obviously occur there. It's going to go positive, sorry, I shouldn't have gone, to negative, to flat, to positive. So which one of those is the minimum, which one of those is the maximum? Negative two is the max, and positive six is the min. So we're going to look at now is double derivatives because this provides a shortcut. That means you can always use your table, but this is a quicker way of determining whether we are dealing with a max or a min, which is important with curve sketching. Now, we use double derivatives because they're quick, but again, shortcuts for those who know the way. They allow us to determine the nature. Nature just means are we dealing with a max or a min of our stationary points. The take home thing to remember, if you can remember nothing else about double derivatives, it's the opposite of the nature of the stationary point. So if you get a negative double derivative, if you get a negative value when you sub your stationary point into your double derivative, you're dealing with a maximum. If you get a positive value, then you're dealing with a minimum. And we'll talk about what happens when you get zero later on. So let's start with question one as a validation of that. Now, if we could recall as question one, question one was a max or a min? A minimum. So we would expect our double derivative to be? Positive. F dash x for question one. What was F dash x? So what we have to do is double derive that. And that equals? Now I'm going to sub in my value for x, three. Does it matter? There's no x left in the... So it does not matter, but that tells me that I'm dealing with a... Two more. 